I'm Heather. I'm Nate. And, and this, this is Lacey. Lacey. We're, we're going, going to Pismo, Pismo Beach. And Lacey knows we're going to the butterfly garden first. We made a whole video on that. Check it out next. Then we headed to the hotel. We made a whole video on that too. You can check it out. But first, we're going to hit the beach. There was some great kite flying. And we were surprised when we walked over to find this little girl was flying the kite. Yeah, she was the best on the beach. They had a long boardwalk. We made our way along just checking out all the sights. The boardwalk led you right to downtown. And the pier. Oh, look, they have cool art on their electrical boxes, too. We started to explore the pier for a little bit. But only to here, because here's where we saw the sign that said no dogs allowed on the pier. We must have missed the first sign. Whoops. But we got to see these cute restaurants, and they have a great view of the beach while you eat. All right, let's get off of the dog unfriendly pier now. Yep, let me get a couple more pictures first. Now, we found out that Pismo Beach is serious about their clams. Finn, I wonder how many times we say clams in this video. Margo and Winnie will tell you. We headed back to explore town. And find something to eat. And do some shopping. Maybe we should rent some bikes. Those are some funny bikes. We heard this was the best chowder on the whole California coast. Yeah, Lacey and I think that line is way too long. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, that barbecue looks good. Yeah, it does, but why do I feel like we should have seafood since we're at the coast? Let's keep shopping and see what else we find. I see food all over this town. <laughs> yes, I know, you always see food. Let's get a little more shopping done first. Aw, oh, fudge. I wonder if they let Lacey in the bowling alley. I don't think pizza qualifies as seafood either. What if I get it with anchovies? No. I know we talked about renting bikes, but this one looks like a death trap. I want that ice cream cone. Okay, okay, I'm looking for dinner. We had fun exploring this little town. And by the time we circled back around, the Splash Cafe's line had gone down. So I sent Nate in to get us the best chowder on the California coast. In a sourdough bread bowl. I got mine fully loaded with all the extras. And Lacey and I admired the clam artwork on their walls. We took our chowder back to the hotel. They have a bench right here in front of the beach. So we just watched the sunset. It looks like these were the sunset surfers. Oh yeah, that was pretty cool. Watching the sunset while I ate my chowder was the perfect end of the day. And after that yummy chowder, we were starting to crave all that fudge we saw earlier. So we took a walk on the beach to work off some of that chowder before we ate the fudge. Lacey asked the locals which candy shop has the best fudge. And I gotta say, Dusk was so pretty here. Is that the clam patrol? The sunset really felt like it went on forever. And of course I couldn't stop filming it.
This was a different fudge recommendation, so Lacey had to get some details. Okay, enough with the sunset pictures. We have to go find dessert. We know someone named Dugan. I wonder if they're related. Oh, Lacey, they're already closed. They're not gonna give you the leftover chowder. I was disappointed this didn't light up. Nate told Lacey he only got her crickets at the candy store. She said, what do I look like, a lizard? Oh yeah, and while we were out here playing with the Pismo Beach Lights, we met some really nice people from Fresno and talked with them forever. And Lacey got to know their puppy. And we all went to bed under the full moon. We awoke to a cold, foggy, misty morning. It was a very familiar feeling I wasn't ready to remember. It was cold and clammy. But the surfers were out and we decided it would be fun to go stroll on the beach. Hmm, I don't think those are Lazy's paw prints. And of course, Lacey found the stinkiest part of the beach. I was so impressed with this girl. She just rode this thing all the way in and then stepped off like a pro. I don't know much about surfing, but those look like really little waves, and I think they're having to work really hard for them. Yeah, they are working hard out there, but at least it'll keep them warm. Oh, we're gonna have to move it along. Lacey's getting bored. I know, Lacey, it just looks like they're having a surfers meeting out there. That seems like a cold place to just hang out. Boy, they're serious about their clams here. You better get a license if you want to dig for Pismo clams. Oh look, they have a slide. Lacey, you want to go down it? Oh yeah, and this is a dog-friendly Marriott they have down here. It just was a lot more expensive. I still can't believe how cheap our hotel ended up being. I'd love a good deal. Oh, they had a nice little boardwalk here. You could read all about the wharf and the pier. Lacey took a moment to learn about the birds and the clams. and we reached the end of the boardwalk. It wasn't very long, but it sure was cute. The town was just the right size. Oh yeah, see this guy's got it right. Paddle boarding on these little waves, not surfing. That does look easier, but those waves still look a little too big for me. The clouds were low, but this guy was walking high. He was serious about getting his views. Watch out for those waves, Lacey, unless you're gonna ride them. This clam thing must be serious business here. That was 
was a really inventive playground. You could take a ride in a whale. Can you spot the hidden lacy? Oh, goodbye, Pismo Beach. You're a cute town. Thanks, Thanks for, for going, going to Pismo, Pismo Beach, Beach with us. us.